Yeah, yeah, I made a video about it a few months ago, but come on, that was way too fast. Ooh, that's kind of small. I think that one edged well, and you can still go back to it if you don't want to watch me babbling about the details of making a stylized hair, but I recommend you watch this one, because we're gonna go in depth into basics, and also make this beautiful hair in this tutorial, and I'm sure you can achieve the similar results at the end. As always, you can find the practice files and real time videos in my Gumroad and Patreon page. You can support the channel through both of these, and help me continue making these videos for you. Link in the description. Okay, let's go. First, make up your mind about what you're gonna model. Go through different type of hairstyles and find the one that's closest to what you have in mind. Do not start without a reference. Don't tell me you have a hairstyle in your mind and you're good to go. Results not gonna look great, trust me. Well, unless you have a decent amount of knowledge about the hair and how it flows and all that crap, but otherwise, find the reference image. Once you had it, analyze it. See which hair strands go where, which part of the hair comes on top. Try to understand the layers of the hair. Maybe separate the parts of the hair so you can understand the flow better, you don't need to actually draw on it like me, you can do it in your mind. The more you look at these images, the better you're gonna be at understanding it. Now after you've done that, go to Blender, Shift A and add a path curve, Shift A and add a circle curve. Select both of them, press R and Y, then press 90 on your numpad to rotate it 90 degrees on Y axis. Select the circle and move it higher a bit. Ok now this is gonna be your hair strands, and this one's gonna be the shape of the hair strand. Select the path curve, go to object data properties, in the geometry, under bevel, select object, click on the eyedropper and click on the circle. Now we have a huge circle for our hair, select the circle, tap to go to edit mode, A to select all, S to scale it down, go to front view, select the bottom point and press G and Z to move it on the Z axis. Front view is really important, so you don't accidentally move the point to the back or front. Now we got a basic hair shape, which is not what we want. If you search up stylus hair and see some artworks, they got some nice detail on the hair. To achieve that, we have to shape our circle this way. To give it detail, select two of the points, right click and subdivide. Now we have a baby point in the middle that we can rearrange however we want. I drag it down, then I select these two and subdivide. I keep selecting and subdividing, then Rearrange the vertices so we have more ups and downs on the shape. You can also select one point, press S, then scale it up to make the edge rounder or scale it down to make it sharper. The more points you add, the more details your hair gonna have. But something that's really important is not to overdo it. When you add too much, it loses that stylized look and it's like you're trying too hard. And if you have seen stylized hair as much as I have, you see a lot of them are not really that complicated, but looks really good in their simplistic shape. So less is more I guess. Also if you know the back of the hair is gonna be visible, make sure you do the same to the bottom side as well. This is gonna be the front and this is gonna be the back. Now this curve is gonna be your hair strand. Select the path curve, go to edit mode, select the point. Press Alt S, drag to the left to scale down the point. You can select another point this time. Alt S and drag right to scale up that point. This feature is the main thing that we're gonna work with. Now another thing you can do is to select one point or more and press Ctrl T to twirl the point. This is good when you wanna make curly hair. Now exit the edit mode. Move the hair on top of your character's head. Back to edit mode, select any point you want and move it by pressing G. Shape the hair the way that you want. Make the most important chunk of the hair first based on the reference image I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Don't start with the small details, you want to take care of the base first. Move the points until it just touches the head. If you want to extend the hair, you just have to select the first or last point. Press E to add another point. You can do that over and over. And shape your hair while doing that. Now for the second one, you don't need to do it all over again. You just need to get out of the edit mode, press shift D to duplicate, back to edit mode, drag some of the points somewhere else. Keep doing that and style your hair using the tools you just learned.
When you want to put the hair on top of the other one, just select the point, Ctrl T and twirl it until the bottom side is on top of the other hair. My reference has a hair falling down in the front. All I have to do is, is to duplicate one of the hair, rotate it 90 degrees and I start forming it so it looks like it's falling down on her face. I wanted the bottom to be curly. To make it curly, you just have to select the last point, E and extrude to the bottom left, Ctrl T to twirl it, then E again to extrude. Keep doing it like this until we have a curly looking hair. And at the end, select the end point, Alt S and scale it down to close it up. You can now go over the whole length of the hair, change the form or twirl the points until you got the right look. We completed the front part and now we need to stretch the hair to the back for it to be ready for the ponytail. We gotta go with this direction. Once you place the first one, you just have to duplicate, rotate and place the other ones on its side. Just go around the head until the head is fully covered. If you made the one side and the other side is fairly similar, you can select all of the hair on that side. Duplicate, right click and mirror it on the X axis. But I wanted to make it manually, so it would be different on each side. A really important tip, if you're doing a ponytail like me, try to avoid making the tail on the back of the head. It should be at the back of the head, but somewhere on top, otherwise it might look weird. Also make sure you keep the flow of the hair natural as possible. As you probably know, gravity does exist, yeah shocker, and it affects the hair so it doesn't go straight to the back, it has a curve in the middle. At the end I got a bit lazy and just duplicate and mirror the other side for the back, just like I said. Using a simple cylinder, I made something to hold the hair for the ponytail, not really the point of the tutorial, so I skip it. Now for the tail, if you have similar style like this, something to keep in mind here is that the hair is not restricted by anything right now. It can move and flow freely, so make sure you keep the flow as smooth as possible. In this situation, where we have separated hair strands for each part of the hair, you need to make sure the flows match on both of them. You see it goes like this from the start, then we have a lot of hair clumps in this area, then all of them falls down freely by gravity. Something I forgot to do in the beginning is to make the base shape for the head. Select the head, shift edge to hide everything except the head. Go to edit mode, in the face select mode, select the faces where the hair grow out, like this. Shift it to duplicate, escape to place it back, and P and selection to separate. It. In the modifier properties, lower the multi res and apply it. Add a solidify modifier to make it thicker, then a subdivision modifier to smooth it out. Now you can press Alt H to unhide everything, then add every little detail you have missed. Okay, we are kinda done with the complete shape of the hair, but there's one thing we can do to make the hair look more detailed. Shift A and add a circle curve like before. Drag it somewhere else so we can see it. Rotate it 90 degrees. Go to edit mode. This time, make a simple shape. Don't add too many ups and downs. You can even use the default circle. Now select one of the hairs, duplicate it like always, but this time go to properties and under bevel, select the new circle as the object. Scale it down with Alt S until just the hair strand. Then start placing it wherever you think it's necessary. Just duplicate, rotate and place it somewhere else, but make sure you don't overdo it. We are doing a stylized hair. You don't need to add thousands of hair strands to make it look good. Just add where you think it needs more details. Okay, this is the final form of our hair. Now it's time 
time for the shading and materials. First thing that's really important for Eevee is to select any light you have in your scene and enable contact shadow. This ensures we have all the shadows between the hair strands. Now select one of the hairs in the front. It doesn't matter. Go to material properties and add a new material. Hover your mouse here and drag to the right. To bring out the new window, put it on shading. Change the color to whatever you want. Now for it to apply to the whole hair, select all of the hairs. Holding shift, click on the one with the color. Click one more time. Press ctrl L and link material. Now we got the material on the whole hair. You can also add multiple colors to the hair. In the shading, press shift A and add a color ramp. Connect it to the base color. Shift A again and add a gradient texture and connect it to the color ramp. Click on gradient texture. Press ctrl T if you have the node triangular add-on enabled. Now in the color ramp, you can click on this plus icon to add a new color. Mess around with the colors till you have the best combination. You can also rotate the color ramp using the mapping node. Okay, that's the final results. I hope it was helpful. If it was, like and sub would really help with the algorithm and make this video to reach more people. Again, you can find the practice files and real-time videos on my Gumroad and Patreon page. Link in the description. Check that out and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.